in 9.6, you can use this and what it actually does is renders out two images side by side in one frame. So what you would actually want to do is double your width or have your height. So it'd be, uh, so let's try rendering that. So there, now, now each one is the, the right size. And this would be for the, uh, the cross-eyed type of uh, stereo. You can set a convergence point so you can, uh, and it'll actually show you that, I believe. You can have it preview your convergence plane. So you can actually see that blue plane is where the, the two cameras are going to converge. And you can kind of see there how, ah, let me get rid of that. You can see the different images, the, kind, the planes are kind of overlapped. And you can adjust the eye separation. You put it really high. You can see that eyes are really far apart. Which Dave has rendered with really far eye separations, haven't you? Hmm? Yeah. Don't want to do that too much. <laughs> let's, let's try it now and see if our heads explode. <laughs> okay, so this would be, but this really demonstrates this was rendered from a severe angle at that. You can see the little blue dots, the little eyeball. And then this one was rendered from another angle there. If you wanted to use, actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. If you've already got uh, the avatar style stereo rig set up, you can use that too. Let's uh, go to perspective camera. And I hope my script is where I expect it. Stereo rig, eye separation, convergence distance, and it creates two cameras. This isn't available. If anybody wants this, email and I'll send it to you. But it creates a left and a right camera. It even provides coloring. It colors them. And you can't select either one. You move the, you move the main one in the middle, which was the original selection. So now you've got these two different cameras. But let's say you, you still want the renders in one image. You render off this middle camera and you use the Ubercam dual camera, dual camera, and you set the left to the left, right to the right, and then render, and you get the same effect as the Ubercam dual, the Ubercam stereo camera, except that uh, you can adjust Let's see, where is that? The right camera. Let's say, actually, yeah, let's say the right camera and let's uh, move it to the side. And they're actually, you see it's targeted? It actually put a null in there at the distance that was set when you ran the script. And so those, they'll stay at that convergence plane or pointing at the null. That's just doing like a look at. Uh, yeah, let's actually open the options. And you can see target item, convergence plane. Yeah, okay. And it's convert and it's parented to the camera as well. So when you move the camera, everything that you need goes with it. Gotcha. So that's F9 that. So now we've got, whoa. Oh, I'm rendering off that camera. I need to be rendering off of the other camera, which has the stereo camera plug in or the, uh, not the stereo camera, the dual camera, left, right, and render. So now this one's being rendered by the left eye, and this one's being rendered by an eye that's really wonky. It's way out there. So you can independently adjust them. And you can use different plugins on here. Each camera can use a different plugin. The only thing is you can't select the plugin by you can't use you can't select it by clicking in the in the interface and that's to prevent you from accidentally moving it you can select it in here though if you know okay i need to move the camera
Let's see if we can find that convergence. No, where? Oh, that's cameras. We want convergence plane. There it is. Yeah. Oh, it's set for the Z. It'll only move along the Z because it just moves straight out from the camera. Oh, yeah. Having it up at an angle might give you weird effects. <laughs> so it just moves. Oh, you can actually see the uh, the tracking oh, markers. So now you can see, now they're cross-eyed. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's always targeting. So now if we set it on the ball, keyframe it. There we go. Oh, that's the left, that's the right eye again. So let's set, there's our middle camera. Render that. And now we've got straight on pretty much and then from the severe right. So that's using a, a you know, hand-built rig, but getting a, a quick test render with the cross-eyed image. Otherwise, you have to put the two images together separately. And you still have to use the Ubercam to see. Well, you if you if you didn't have Ubercam if you didn't have Ubercam, you'd have to render out the left eye and the right eye, and then use something to put the two images together. With Ubercam, you can just do it all in one step. You just tell it what I, what camera is the left, what camera is the right, and render, and it put it automatically does it in one. Oh, here, let me. Uh, well, do you know if the Ubercam is using like a total in method, or is it like a parallel setup with like, you know, uh, For its stereo, yeah, uh, it depends on what you have it set for. If you uh, use a convergence null, then they're going to converge. If you have the, or not a null, it actually uses a dis, oh, that's the wrong camera. That's also the wrong camera. Okay, there's our render for anybody who wants to look cross-eyed at it. Um, if you set the uh, convergence point, Let's uh, use the other camera. Stereo. Yeah, convergence item, actually. If you don't set it, then I believe it's just parallel. It should be parallel. Uh, you can, mm, you can, yeah, you can adjust. Let's actually try this. Uh, that's a bit too much. It's, yeah, I think it is, mm, yeah, it should be parallel. And then when you use the convergence item, they should, well, now my camera's way back there. Yeah, then they converge. It's kind of doing some, some tricks with the OpenGL, so it can kind of preview what it's doing, but it wasn't really, the OpenGL wasn't really designed to do this. So that's why it's kind of having, uh, like these lines crossing it's because you have these two halves of the grid going across each other so there you go